Hello and welcome to yet another edition of the Fearless News Network. My name is Mary Ladowo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, we have ten days left before we kick off this year's edition of the Fearless Summit. And with each passing day, we have an increase in the number of people who are attending and the number of countries represented. In fact, let's take a look and see how many people so far have confirmed their attendance. Wow, all those guys are registered so far. Hmm, this is going to be the conference to attend for sure. But my guy, you still haven't registered. Sis, you haven't registered as well. What's going on? What's the problem? What is the problem? I'm sure the question you're asking yourself today is, what are we having for lunch? However, the million dollar question you should be asking yourself is, is this conference going to change my business, change my attitude, change my life, change my entire being? The answer is a resounding yes. Don't believe me? How about you hear it straight from an attendee who attended one fearless summit and her life, her business, her everything, changed. Check out this video. My thoughts before the Fearless Summit were very more, you know, local, if I can say. At Fearless Summit, I got to meet a very interesting guy who just transformed my way of thinking. His name is Richard Esther. And he was talking, um, he was taking an afternoon masterclass about digital marketing. And I got to attend it. And I was just sitting at the front row. I didn't know that the message was for me. But on leaving that evening, I knew I had to action it. So my first step was just taking the vulnerability and the courage of shooting myself. It wasn't the best quality, it wasn't the best sound. And just still uploading it and knowing that there could be some uh feedback that could be negative but still going ahead to and making that decision and uploading it and right now which is three years later it's 150 videos on and just pushing through currently we're incorporating other farmers into the association to have a better voice what i would say to the marketplace leaders who feel that fearless could be a religious <laughs> summit it's totally not it's mostly for people who are looking in terms of direction entrepreneurship having a network having a community of people who understand each other's struggles but for me it's also a place where i found how to grow my purpose because the first thing is to find out your purpose but then what is the next level and i feel that's what uh, fearless does for you my name is Wangare Kuria, the farmer on fire, and I'm fearless. In other news, I want you to take out your diary or your phone and mark a very special date. That's Sunday the 10th of July 2022. Why, you may ask? Because all Mavuno campuses in Kenya are going to be shutting down for one Sunday and congregating at the Mavuno Hill City headquarters for a unique joint service dubbed the Fearless Sunday. Now, if you're in a Mavuno campus outside Kenya, worry not. There's going to be a special live stream provided just for you. Details will be provided to you soon. Once again, I've been your host with the most. My name is Mary. 2,000 years later. Ladowo, and this has been the Fearless News Network. Goodbye and God bless.